Hey guys, and welcome back to the Storm playthrough with Kai Ringdancer. And yeah, we're actually going to be doing episode 20 today. And we're going to be going to Grizzleheim instead of uh, Marleybone. But that'll be ne for next episode. So. Your arrival is well timed. I must ask for your assistance once more. As you know, there are many worlds in the spiral. Wizard City is one, and you likely know of others. Yeah. One of these worlds is Grizzleheim, a cold and wintry place peopled with fierce warriors. The Grizzleheim World Tree was once linked to the rest of the spiral, but the contact was lost. We thought it was destroyed. Bartleby now informs me that the portal to Grizzleheim is now active and travel there is possible. Oh, fortuitous news indeed. We have great need of friends in this dark time. Go to Grizzleheim and make allies of the fierce warriors dwelling there. You should speak to their king. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna head to Grizzleheim. Which is based around Norse mythology and Vikings. So that's always pretty cool. Don't know why the arrow was pointing the wrong way there, but... Anyways... North Guard... And yeah, nice little Viking town here. And talk to Bjorn. Ho there, Outlander. What brings you to Grizzleheim? You explain that you've been sent to speak with the king of Grizzleheim. You want to speak with our king? Not today, little wizard. Our king doesn't just speak with any young cub who asks. No offense intended, but only the most worthy of warriors can speak with the king of Grizzleheim. I'm Bjorn Ironclaws, a famous hero of my people. If you make a name for yourself, I will speak for you and see that you get to meet our king. No one here trusts an outsider. All great warriors of Grizzleheim have a band of allies to trust and rely on. If you want to see our king, you should become a member of my band. My men will show you our ways so you're no outsider. Go and speak to my sword brother Hagen Shieldbreaker in our camp by the river. Tell him I sent you. Okay, so yeah, this is a level 20 quest. It's nice that they actually include that in there. So people kind of know what they're getting into before they get too in too deep. But yeah, Hagen. What brings you to the camp of Bjorn Ironclaws? Bjorn sent you? He wants us to teach you our ways and see if you're worthy of joining our band? Fair enough. Let us start then. If you wish to learn our ways and join this band, you must learn to be fearless at all times. Fear profits you nothing. Your destiny was woven long ago, and nothing you do can escape fate. It is best to meet challenges with courage in your heart and a blade in your hand. I do not know if you are cowardly or courageous. Only you know which. Go to our old burial ground and defeat three troubled warriors. Return then and tell me what was in your heart. Looks like it's actually two, but yeah. And... Outlander. A moment of your time, if you have it to spare? Uh, oh, I thought he had a side quest, but... Maybe not yet. Alright. 
So we have to defeat two troubled warriors. These ghost bear creatures. Okay. But yeah. So this is the first area of Grizzleheim that you can get at uh, level 20. And then the next area we can do at 25. And then I think 30 after that. So we'll have that to go off of as side content. But yeah, these guys are pretty, pretty basic. They're like rank three, which is like wizard city mob type enemies. Nice, didn't fizzle. <laughs> okay. Back to Hagen. Oh, and also, yeah, I'm level 23. So, just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Okay. We heard the troubled warriors' howls from here. Were you fearful, or were you fierce? Speak the truth, or I will know if you do not. Good then, that's what I like to hear. Stay courageous. Luck may save you sometimes, but only if your courage holds. A hero is nothing without his reputation. And a great part of that reputation comes from the deeds of his father. You're an outsider, though, and no one knows who your father was. So we must get a great hero to speak highly of you, as if you were his own child. Go back into the burial ground, to the mound of Ingvar Sharptooth. Convince him that you're a worthy heir to his reputation. Ingvar. Oh, here's the side quest. So you're... If you will do an old raven. Okay, back here in the burial ground. And Ingvar's little clearing in the woods here. They're big, really big pine trees. Alright, talk to him. What manner of being are you to confront me so openly? You would like me to speak well of you? That you can share in my reputation? I will not give my regard so lightly. Prove your worth in battle. Okay, we gotta defeat this guy. Okay. He's got quite a bit of health, doesn't he? But we can take him. Okay. Oh wow, starting up with the big fire shields. At least I'm not fire, that's nice. Oh, okay. Um, I think a Kraken might actually defeat the boss. That'd be pretty cool.
Yeah, we have a blade on there, so I think it might kill. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're well done. That boss. I'm impressed, young cub. You've proven you've got metal. You faced me without fear and defeated me with great skill. You can tell any who ask that I am as proud of you as if you were my own child. Very nice. All right. Back to Hagen. Okay. Hagen. So, did you win words of praise from Ingvar Sharptooth? Yep. Excellent. Are you certain you aren't from here? You are taking to our ways as if born to them. Now, it is one thing to defeat spirits, but it is what a hero does among the living that echoes through eternity. Not far from here is a camp of split hoof barbarians. When they grow daring enough, they harass and steal from the honest folk of Grizzleheim. Go there and give those split hoof barbarians a lesson in manners. That should earn you the favor of the townsfolk and help your heroic reputation. Defeating one of them should be enough to show them their troublesome ways are at an end. Okay. So, yeah, the boil camp is over there, but we have a, a teleport. Oh, here it is. So that's a nice little shortcut. The Grizzleheim areas are kind of big and takes a while to get around. Okay, Split Hoof Barbarian. And we've got a couple of them to defeat here. Shark will definitely take care of these guys. Now in, I think, five levels, I'm going to get a, an attack all spell. And that'll help us out a lot more when attacking. We can attack uh, multiple enemies at once. Instead of just sing these single hits. I think if I was playing as a fire, I would have already gotten Meteor Strike by now, if I remember correctly. But, yeah. At least, like, life and death don't get their first one to, like... Dragon Spire, so his life gets forest lord and that's when death gets scarecrow, so Next round, get this guy taken care of. Uh, oh, never mind. I didn't pull a shark. Alright, I guess I gotta use Kraken. 
might be a bit overkill, but whatever. Okay. I'm sure that one will think twice before he troubles the town again. You're well on your way to becoming a hero. We've been ordered by Bjorn to stay in this camp, but there's something you can do for us. Bjorn told us he was sending Einar Thunderhammer, a blacksmith, to our camp to tend our weapons and armor. He's late, probably captured by the barbarians. Why not stroll over to the Split Hoof camp and see if you can find him? If he's locked up, you'll have to find a key to free him. Just defeat Split Hoof Rangers until you find the one with the key. Okay. More barbarian boys. Good old defeat and collect. So the ranger, a uh, ragers, actually. Oh, the storm. Of course. All right. Rank four elite. Ooh, these guys have quite a bit of health. Let's get our prisons up before they shield against myth. Get probably get rid of that shark. All right, there we go. So any shields. Any myth shields they put up now will not be used. Okay. Now, the one thing that's not great about Grizzleheim is it doesn't give, uh, it does not give a lot of XP until you get to the Winter Tusk portion, which will be sometime after level 40, so. But yeah, the Winter Tusk portion gives a lot of XP, but you won't get as much in the first few segments. Oh, that did a lot of health. Wow. Did a lot of damage. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Storm hits do a lot more damage than some other ones. Alright, do I heal? I think I should heal. He could easily kill me if I'm not careful. Yeah, that should be good. But now I don't have any pips. Uh, Alright. Hopefully a... Hopefully a shark shows up, so I can just kill, kill quickly. Man, this guy won't let up. Of course, I did not get what I need. Okay.
Am I almost dead again? Are you kidding me? Alright, shark. Storm shark. Thank you. Oh yeah, that was nice. Very good. Oh, we gotta go to the boar building. But I need health. I think there's like a boss in there or something. Let's see if anybody's in team up. Nope. All right, I refilled my health. We're gonna go into the boar building. It's just more like a tent. Made of like some kind of animal skin. Oh my god. Wow. Violent. Alright, Shatter Tusk. Oh man. Alright. Let's get these guys prisoned. <laughs> oh wow. Cheap. <laughs> so annoying. But hey, I got a uh, pretty good wand hit to get rid of that. Get rid of that weakness. And then I'll crack in the boss. To get rid of him pretty quick. These guys do not mess around with the hits, do they? Alright. And also I've been getting lucky with power pips. Which is really good. Alright. Ah, I fizzled. Woo. Alright, Einar is in the cage. Looks like we freed him. What's this? Hagen sent a child to come and rescue me? He should be ashamed. Still, though, you defeated Shattertusk handily. You're no mere youth, I'll wager. Nope. You have my thanks. I can find my way out now that Shatter Tusk is dealt with. You'd best head on back to camp and speak to Hagen. Yeah. All right, we'll head back over there then. Okay. You rescued Einar, I gather. Good work. He'll tell others of your battle with Shatter Tusk, and your fame will spread. You're building a name for yourself. Becoming a hero our people will respect and admire. I'll teach you our ways, but there's a price to be paid. When you become one of our people, our enemies become your enemies. Oh. We fought the Grindles for as long as we can remember. They're an ancient evil race of terrible monsters. Oh, yikes. Some Grindles are small. We can fight them well enough. The most horrible of the Grindles are like avalanches. <laughs> they must be avoided or endured. Easier to fight a mountain. Jeez. Long ago, the Grendels invaded an old fort nearby named Draugarth. Now only spirits dwell there. But spirits have great wisdom. If you want to see our king, you should learn to fight the Grendels. Go and speak to the spirits there and learn of the Grendels. All right. Draugarth, which is the red teleporter. 
And gotta go talk to Avar. The Swift. There he is. I was one who fought the Grendels when they attacked this fort. First they attacked in daylight, and we fought them honorably. Then they crept over the walls in the night, and attacked as we slept. We fought bravely, but we were defeated. Now, this place is called Draugarth, the home of the dead. Oh, that's grim. Alright, Bethel... Rethel. It is said that the first mother of all the Grendels went to all things in the world, and begged them to swear oaths to never harm her child. She went in disguise, as a kind old woman, and because she seemed harmless, all things agreed not to harm her child. Only the Spider Queen said no to her request, because spiders are evil and harm is in their nature. Oh wow, that's some uh, deep foreshadowing there. In time, the old oaths were forgotten somewhat, but those first Grendels could not be harmed by any force, and they grew great and terrible. Now, the greatest and oldest Grendels fear only one thing in the whole of Grizzleheim. Spiders. Go and speak to Soren the Wise, and he will teach you to use that knowledge. Alright, Soren. <clears throat> there he is. Nope, that's a side quest. Soren. I was blacksmith of this fort, and I fought alongside with the warriors with weapons of my own making. My finest weapons were not enough. Our axes shattered, bent against the most powerful Grendel. We lost the battle. That will not happen again. I will show you how to make a weapon with the venom of spiders. A blade that will defeat the Grendels. Sauron the Wise teaches you the ancient arts of sword making, including some special techniques that will serve against the Grendels. All right, let's take that knowledge back to Hagen. In the tree. Did the spirits grant you the wisdom to fight the Grendels? Yup. You now know how to make a blade that will do harm to the most powerful of the Grendels. All great heroes need great weapons, and the best are those you forge yourself. It's time you had such a weapon. Go and speak to the blacksmith Einar Thunderhammer. He will show you what to do. Yeah, we just rescued him not that long ago. So, my rescuer returns. What can I do for you today? You know how to make a special blade to defeat Grendels? I can't wait to get started, but I'll need a lot of help. I'll show you how to forge your blade, but I can't do much without my forge tools. The split hooves took them from me when I was captured. After you rescued me, I looked around for them, but I couldn't find them. Could you go back to the split hoof camp and get my hammer and tongs from them? The one named Bloodseeker has them. Bloodseeker, ooh. All right, we're back here at the boil camp. And this cave kind of in the back here is the way to Bloodseeker. And we got another split hoof rager. Oh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Incredible. All right, storm shark this dude. <laughs> Am I gonna get rid of that shield? Great. Nice, got around that shield. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, got the tools. Alright. It's good to have my tools back. I felt like a part of me was missing. 
You have earned my gratitude once again. Now we're going to get started. This blade will be forged according to our ancient traditions and the new technique you learned in Drogoth. For the metal of the blade, we're going to need a lot of peat. Peat is a kind of rotten mud we use to make bog iron. Ew. To make the blade deadly against Grendels, we're going to need spider ichor. The easiest way to get some of that is to defeat some bog spiders. You should be able to find peat and bog spiders in the webwood. All right. So... That is this other, the, the third teleporter here we haven't used yet. And there's plenty of peat just lying around. Gotta pick up four of those. And then gotta get some stuff from spiders. Alright. Need one more. There's the last peat. Alright. Okay, let's take down these spiders. And hopefully we get the eye coil we need from these two. <laughs> if not, I'll have to uh, cut ahead. Oh, he used a tower shield. That's not good. <laughs> So balance one, yeah, he's dead. Nice. Okay. Now for the creeper. Actually, I should probably be learning tower shields once I get enough uh, training points for that. I'll hit next once I have my accuracy boost. Very useful. I remember that accuracy boost being less in the past. Wow, that was cheap. <laughs> he put that up right as I am. Great. I would have killed too. Wow. Cheap. Very cheap. Mm -hmm. 
Got one or two. All right. All right. Finally, it took me like three battles to get two spider icon, but we got it. So let's go back. You've brought back some Pete and spider icon, just like I asked. Now on to the next step. I'll begin burning the peat down to get the bits of iron out of it. It's a long and dull task, so I won't trouble you with it. What I need next is beyond my ability to retrieve. The stinger of the Spider Queen Scothi, mightiest of the spiders. Scothi lurks deep in a cave in the webwood. I can craft it into the metal of the blade along with the spider eye core, and that will make the blade a bane to the Grendels. Nice. All right, I gotta go to Scathy's cave nest, actually, which is in here. All right. I'm just gonna go in solo, I think. Be okay. I can hear your little footsteps intrude into my web, and you shall pay the price. Ooh. All right, Scathy. Yeah, she is fire. And ooh, I am not getting good cards. And I think this is actually going to end up being a long episode, but hopefully you guys like the longer episodes. Man, I am not getting what I need. This is dumb. There we go, finally. Jeez, that hit hard. Okay. Oh, though the boss did not die. Oh, she has two health left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, she didn't. Okay. Good, she didn't hit. But her little spider friend sure did. Oh. Alright. And now for the minion. Oh my god. I swear my accuracy is like negative. All right, finally. All right. Go back to Einar. The 
teleporter is right there. Okay. Good work. It's an excellent shape as well. You're truly a skilled warrior. Let me get to work on the blade. Einar begins hammering on the rough ingot of metal, folding the stinger into it until they are united. He hands the sword to you. This is the finest weapon I have yet forged. Great. You have your blade, but it needs to be blessed. Even with the spider stinger, it's still just a mortal blade. The blessing of the spirits will give your blade great power. And in this battle, you will need every advantage you can earn. Your blade must be thrice blessed, so you must seek the blessings of three spirits. In the woods by the boar camp is an old forest spirit called Iron Splinter. At this camp's waterfall, you can evoke a water spirit named Whisper Tide. Finally, you can summon a fire spirit called Storm Glare from the campfire outside. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. So the waterfall over here. And there's actually the skeleton key boss Outlander. right over there. I sense in your heart the intent to rid our land of the Grendels. They foul the waters and plague the land. I bless your blade with the grace of water. Go now and use it with great skill. Thank you. Now to Iron Splinter. Over by the boy camp. And this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, we have to defeat him. Oh, oh I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> oh, great. All right. Who trespasses upon my domain? Yeah, that's me, I guess. <sighs> okay. We got a forest pest and iron splinter. Okay. Six, not bad. Didn't quite kill though. Such a wand hit the boss then. Actually that probably did no damage. Do I can't even, couldn't even see how much damage that did. Didn't kill him though. Probably has like two health left. Knowing my luck. Yeah, two. He had two health left. 
Alright, we're just gonna take him out then. Jeez. I might actually have to end up splitting this into two episodes. Uh, cause yeah, this is, this Saverstad Pass area is a lot longer than I thought it would be. I haven't done this in so long. Come on, stop fizzling, Kai, please. I don't have this much patience. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You fought with honor, Outlander. I see that you are not one of the Grendels who spoil the land. Yeah, he, I don't know what's going on with his voice, though. I sense you bear a blade of power. May to defeat them. My blessing of oak is upon your blade. Wield it with great strength. All right, thank you. Now back to the campsite. Okay, back to the campsite. Forged in fire, this blade was made to be born against the Grendels. They act without honor, without pride, and should be defeated. Show me your sword, that I might bless it with the flame of courage. Within the heat of battle, it will not fail you. Ah, thank you. I can sense the power that blade now holds. You've now a weapon fit for a hero, or even a king. Nice. Now that you've got your sword, there's little I can do for you. Take it to Hagen Shieldbreaker and he'll guide you to victory. Hmm, yeah. Great. Hagen. Did Einar Thunderhammer help you make a blade suitable for a hero? Yeah. You're well on your way to becoming a hero, but even the greatest hero must choose battles wisely. You don't want to be distracted in your fight with Skellig, the mightiest of these Grendels. Skellig and his Grendels have overrun another fort belonging to our people, a place called Drogarth. Go there and defeat a few of them. They'll be wary of you after that. Yes, we've been to Draugarth. Alright, so we gotta defeat a Urchin and a... What's the other one called? Garter. So, I'm gonna try to find one where I can get both. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I can pull one of each. Yes, nice. <gasps> uh. And one of them is Storm. Great. Try to get through that resist. The resist can't be that bad, right? Let's see how bad it is. I don't know. I don't know what the resist is. What hit the storm guys resist? Can we still... Oh... That's like 50%. Oh man, that's... That sucks. Wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, there we go. The urchin is defeated. I'm back with Hagen after defeating those Grendels. Uh, didn't actually finish recording. I had it on pause, but hopefully nothing too important was missed. Now there's no stopping you from confronting Skellic and driving the Grendel from Draugarth. Go to the fort now and see if you can find your way in. If the way is not clear, always remember that spirits contain great wisdom. Seek their counsel if you need it. Return here once you know how to enter the fort. Okay. Uh, Dragar. Oh, meant to press X. All right. Let's find our way in. Go around. The doors are sealed. You can tell that powerful magic is at work here. There must be a way through. All right, Avar probably has the info we need. Those doors were sealed by a powerful Grendel shaman called Thulin. Only those bearing runic talismans may pass. To gain your own runic talisman, you must defeat Thulin and take it from him. All right. Gotta go find Thulin. And he is in here. Great. Gonna team up this time. All right, I got tired of waiting. Let's go in. to find me, Outlander. A pity you'll never see your homeland again. Oh, that's... that's special, isn't it? Alright. Jeez, that was... annoying. Oh. Next round, I will. Yep, need Storm Shark. This menu. Phew, he didn't Storm Shield that time. <laughs> I still can't believe he did that. The absolute sass. <laughs> Alright. Bye, little child. <laughs> uh, my god. Okay. He's got storm spells too. Got no storm shields. <laughs> Damn. Yep, 
There we go. Bye, sir. Ooh, that was a really good hit. Wow. You find a runic talisman among Thulin's possessions. Oh, I did not mean to put that. Got a lot of stuff in my my gift box, though. All right, Hagen. That's how they kept our warriors out of the fort? A runic talisman? You're as clever as you are powerful. I could sing honeyed words of praise about you all day, but it is deeds, not words, my people will respect. Now is the time for you to bear your bane blade against Skellig, leader of these Grendels. Go to Drogarth and drive him from that once fair place. Hmm... All right, this is the final battle, finally, of Saverstad Pass. Um. All right. Let's go in. You find that the runic talisman has already opened the gates to Drogarth. Hmm. All right, going in. Ah, keep hitting the wrong key. <sighs> and in we go. Foolish little hairless one. I oh. cannot be defeated. Well, let's see about that. What's that? A thrice blessed spider bane blade? <laughs> yeah. You got scared now. <laughs> mm. Okay. Come on. How a night. All right. Here we go. Kraken for the boss. Very good. Yeah, had to, uh, Start all over again with that. The battle was not going in my favor. Last attempt. Now I'm not getting any prisms. There we go. Prism. Thank you. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Grendel. Yeah, okay, cool. 
cool. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. Back to Hagen. We defeated them. Very cool. Okay. Back here with Hagen after our battle. You did well. The whole valley echoed with the sounds of your battle. Now everyone will know you to be a great warrior. Yay. I've taught you all I can of our ways, and you've learned every lesson. I will speak highly of you to Bjorn when I see him next. For now, you can go and tell him we would be honored to have you in our band. Very cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's go back to Northgard with Bjorn. And see what he has to say. It is good to see you once more. You appear well enough. Hagen taught you well? Yeah. The word of your deeds sped here like on the wind. Our people are impressed with tales of the glory an outlander has won. But it is still too soon for you to see the king. Deeds grow in the telling. Your reputation is great, but not yet mighty enough. I sense that you are a great warrior in your homeland. Your own people must have need of heroes. You should return home for now, but remember, you are always welcome in Grizzleheim. Yay. If you wish to earn a heroic name in Grizzleheim, right. Outlander, fate has put you on the right path. Yep, so next episode, we're going to go and start Marleybone. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Have a great day.